Hello everyone, welcome back to the Victorian Servitude Challenge. This week we are popping in with Peter's family. That's that's him back there leaving for work. Um, but look, it's Miss Eliana and she has aged into an adult and she is standing here talking to her sister-in-law um, about some art. Wait, where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. <laughs> They're talking about art, and they're going to be such good friends, and I'm super excited. They're very sweet. And we have Miss Cassandra um, sleeping in her cribby. Where she be? There she is. She's so cute. Look at this little redhead baby. Look at her. Look at the baby. She's very, very cute. Oh, me. And we have Esther back because she is now the nanny slash governess of this household. So she's just chilling. She's just taking a nap. I don't have servants quarters in this house um, because I meant to build a house like a, 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 a servants quarter house like right here. And I never got to it because I'm busy. So she's just kind of sleeping in the nursery for now. And um, another important update, someone we haven't seen for a very long time. This is Anna, she's back, yes. I know that we've probably all missed Anna very much. There she is. Um, she becomes an elder in two days. I can't even believe that. Um, she has, um, who is this? Oh, shoot. Henry became an elder. Damn. Wow. Yeah, she's still um, old enemies with Emily. And she has no relationship with her daughter. Well, barely. They barely remember each other. Um, so that's sad. But... Um, yeah, she's here, um, and she was completely unemployed. She was working, um, on a farm with a family. So she was fired from the Clark household at a time when the lady's maid was kind of like a lost art. It was kind of declining, and they would have kept her on, but she, you know, she betrayed Emily, and then she couldn't find work, and she kind of lost status a little bit after being fired. Nobody knows why she was fired because like I said, you know, Marigold is passed off as Sylvia's twin and as Emily's daughter, even though it's not it, she's not. Um, but so she, they all, all they know is that she was fired. Like she was like, you know, just discharged and the reasons are kind of murky. And so she had a lot of trouble getting a job again and she couldn't get a job as a lady's maid. And so she just sat around for years like wasting away at this farm, like scrambling for a living. And then when Peter got his own house, he took pity on her and he was like, oh, that poor woman that used to serve us, because he doesn't know why she was fired or discharged or whatever you want to call it. Um, so he hired her as the maid and cook. So she has the level seven cooking skill. She tried to learn as best she could before she was hired. And yeah, so she's just like, she's just chilling, you know? Um, so she is going to actually, um, well, I, I cheated all their hunger because I got here too late in time for them to have, like, breakfast before he went to work. So he's going to go to work. Um, she is going to, I know somebody suggested that, um, she's going to have bread and jam. Somebody suggested that we have Anna be the maid for Marigold, but I don't think Emily would let that happen. I don't think Henry would want that to happen either. And I mean, the, the parents of the newly married are like responsible for hiring their servants. So I don't think they're, I don't think Marigold's parents would let Anna work in her household. But that doesn't mean that she'll never meet her. I think that she will. Also, I know that we talked about how Caroline just had a baby, but also um, Marigold's definitely, <gasps> she already had the baby. <gasps> oh my God. I was just gonna say Marigold's pregnant because she has pregnancy clothes on, but look. Marigold and Don Lothario had a baby named Chuck. <laughs> his name's Chuck. I hate that. I'm going to have to change his name to Charlie and because Chuck is a nickname. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. I can't believe it. I knew that she was pregnant from the risky. Remember when I was like, oh, I don't want her to get pregnant at like 14. And then so I only had them risky woohoo. 
And then she got pregnant from the Risky Woohoo. I don't know if I ever told you that she got pregnant from the Risky Woohoo, but she did. Oh, little Chuck. That's sweet. Okay. Okay, but also, um, I have something to show you guys. This may come as a shock because, okay, so like, Caroline is married to Peter. Caroline is married to Peter. They have this daughter, Cassandra. They have a very, like, happy relationship. She's got a good friendship with Eliana. Like, look, look at how close Peter and his wife are. They love each other very much. Um, okay, he needs to suck up to his boss. So we're gonna do that. So, um, something is not quite right here because upon coming to this household, and, you know, having them talk to each other, I wanted to see how her relationship was going with Eliana. So I went into Caroline's relationship panel, and I was shocked to see this. Caroline has a romantic interest, not only out of wedlock that she's not married to, but it's a woman. And that was generated by the game. Like, I didn't do that. Like, she just has this romantic interest in her relationship panel. She autonomously has a, a girlfriend, essentially. And I don't really know what to do about it. <laughs> um, can we, um, I wanna ask about gender preference. Like, I know that that's not like something that we're gonna like. That's not something that you'd actually talk about in those days. But I just want to know for my own sake. Okay. Okay, what? Do you see this? It says that her gender preference is straight. So why does she have... Why is she... What? Abigail is a girl, right? Huh, how strange. I mean, she could have just been lying to Eliana, but like the game doesn't, I just was thinking like, I just wanted to know for myself like what her sexuality was. But oh, that's so odd, that's so odd. Why would the game pair her up with a female and then not have it affect her gender preference? Oh, I didn't put a sink in the bathroom. Well, that's my bad. <laughs> that is definitely my bad. Um, so I'm feeling kind of weird about this. I don't really know what to do. What do we think? Do we think that Caroline is likes? I mean, she has a better relationship with Peter than with this girl, Abigail. So she does seem to love him more, but it does mean something that the game generated. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm kind of like concerned about it. Like I want, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I want you guys to let me know what I should do about this. And I know that we talked a long time ago, we talked about like a secret, you know, same sex relationship, but like, this, like, I kept saying, like, oh, like, Peter and um, Caroline are the one couple that's actually happy, and, like, they actually love each other, and, like, you know, Marianne and, and Henry hate each other, and, and Don Lothario is too old for Marigold, but, like, Caroline and Peter actually love each other, and then, like, here we are, and Caroline has a lover that's a woman. <laughs> so I just don't know what I'm supposed to think right now. Um... But anyway, I want to have Eliana do a portrait of her sister-in-law because I think that would be super fun. What's her painting skill? Level eight, level seven. Okay, here, let's see, paint still life. How about this right there? Good, okay. We're gonna have a nice portrait of, of our wife, that our unfaithful wife. <laughs> I think Eliana gets a lot of joy out of painting portraits of her family. I think that that's something that she really loves to do. And Caroline, what kind of skills does she have? Ooh, she's smart. She's logic. She's Ooh, she has the writing skill. That's cool. Does she have a computer or something? Where does she write? Are there even any desks in this house? Okay. 
hold on. I need to put a sink in the kitchen and get her a laptop to write on. Okay, so I got her a laptop and I put a sink in the kitchen and I want her to sit on this bench and read a book while her sister paints her. Oh, I, maybe I should have gotten a portrait of her reading. That would have been cool. But nah, because that's not a, it's not a good angle. Because there that was like common, like a Victorian portrait of um of the woman reading. That was like a pretty common thing. I hope this turns out good. Okay. Hey, you. Does the house need to be cleaned at all? Is anything dirty? No? All right. Um... Hmm. This is, so, it's so sad that she doesn't know her daughter. It's really depressing. Um, all right, this baby's gonna need to be fed. This, this, uh, this chick up here is gonna need to, uh, to get up and feed the baby. Hello, baby. Hi, little baby. You are so cute. She's gonna get the next portrait. Okay, so we're going to wake her up. We're gonna, um, actually, you know what? Why don't you hold her? Because I bet Caroline's a good mother and she wants to feed her baby herself. She wants to breastfeed her baby. She doesn't want to do any wet nursing. She wants to feed her baby herself. Guys, I'm really, I really don't know what to think about Caroline having this, this female lover. I'm like, I just, I don't know what to do. Like, like I really don't know what to do. I, mm, I'm really concerned about it, to be completely honest. Because <laughs> I just, I wanted this family to be wholesome and nice, but the game doesn't want that for me. I don't know what to do. All right, we're going to bring the child downstairs so that her mommy can breastfeed her, so that she can spend time with her mom. It is pretty cold for a baby to be outside, but we can pretend that she's bundled up and stuff. Watch TV. No. You don't even know what a TV is, Missy. <laughs> um, yep, so she's just chilling. Um, I, yeah, so I, uh, oh, don't go to school. You're not doing that. Find some seeds, fertilize plants, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, no, don't promise a lifetime wish. You know, Caroline does have the flirty trait. She's not, so she, she probably isn't prone to being the most faithful woman. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know what to think. I don't know, guys. Okay, you, miss, need to go have some bread and jam yourself for some brick. Okay, baby, I know, you're hungry. Go get breastfed. It's okay. She wants to become friends with someone. Oh, what are you laughing about, you weirdo? All right. The gardener is hungry too, so he's gonna go have some bread and jam as well. And then we can have him uh, dispose of some leaf piles. Dispose, dispose. And then he can keep on a raking, cause the grind never stops, you know what I'm saying? He, and speaking of, of secret affairs, this guy is um, like best, best friends with Sylvia. So he is like super in love with her. And we want, okay, we're going to go inside because it's very cold. We do not want our baby to get sick because babies in the cold, putting the, the, being, the babies being outside in the cold was like the number one way that babies like die. So, um, yeah. Okay, um, you get in the kitchen. Okay, we're going to breastfeed our little baby. And then why don't we tickle her and toss her in the air and snuggle her? And then why don't you teach her to talk? Because you want to bond with your little girl. Or, you know, maybe don't teach her to talk. That's not really your job. You do want to be a good mother, but you should actually, you should write because you want to be a writer because you have a pretty good writing skill, and I think she could be one of those one of those woman writers. Especially if she's got a woman lover, she's probably got some pretty interesting things to say. So, let's see. Writing. Has she started anything? No. Here, let's look at her skill journal. I want to see if she's ever written a book before. No completed books. Well, honey, I think it's about time. Writing a start drama novel. Let's do that.
Okay. Oh, she's so cute. All right, how is your painting going, Eliana? Oh, it's gonna look good. Okay, I think we wanna get one of, of Miss, uh, bloop, what's her name? Miss Cassandra next. So I'm thinking if we get her in a good little position, Kiwis of peace. <laughs> no, I'm not writing about a Kiwi. Um, let's see, let's um, call it, uh, uh, um, thorns of peace. I don't know what that means, but you know, we're gonna do it. All right. Oh my god, you're not teaching her to. W oh my god, <sighs> why are you teaching her to walk in the snow? Why have you done this? Well, it could make for a pretty picture, so you know. We'll just, we'll just go for it, you know? All right, here. Oh, Eliana, you're so pretty. Okay, why don't you paint a still life? And we'll see if we can capture a good moment of the baby. <gasps> there, that's perfect. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, yay, we're gonna get a cute little portrait of the baby. Oh, Peter left work. Very good indeed. Oh, he's miserable, he's so stressed. Oh, he's doing bad. Oh, he's doing bad at work. <laughs> he's doing so bad. Okay, you teach. Why are you dressed like that? Excuse you. You look like a fool. Okay. Um. Uh, blah. Teach her to talk. Hi, Peter. <laughs> you are miserable, my friend. Okay, why don't you read something to get your fun up a little bit? Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. We were going to paint, hang, oh, that's, wait, that, not that painting. We can't keep that one. That one's ugly. What can we hang up? Where did all of Eliana's paintings go? I guess we got rid of them, huh? I didn't do that on purpose. No, sir, I did not. Oh, this is gonna be such a cute painting. Oh, she's so cute. She's a very cute little baby. Yeah, so she's just writing, typing away here. Um, and I just, I, mm, should I maybe invite Abigail over? Send her a love letter? I don't know, I just, I don't know. Can we check the mail to see if she sent us any love letter? Do you, do Sim send, me love, I don't know, you know what? Oh God, send love letter to, no. No, we can't get the mail, there is no mail. Is there any mail? No. No, there's no mail to get. Okay, all right. Um, you need to start cooking dinner. So you're gonna serve, um, Uh, oh, stew. Your cooking skill is not that great. It's fine. This poor kid, he's just slaving away out there, raking and raking all day. I don't know what to do about Caroline. Okay, you know what? Let's invite, not Caroline, yeah, yeah, Caroline and Abigail. All right, we're going to invite her over and just see what happens. Just, just see what happens. Oh, I'm stressed, I'm so stressed. Okay, she's gonna come over. Cool. Hang holiday house lights, no. Reach level six of writing, yeah. Okay, she's gonna take a nap before um, her lady love gets there. And we'll see if, okay, if she has any wish to do anything crazy, We'll see if they've kissed yet, because you can see, like, if it says first kiss. We'll see if they've kissed yet. We'll see if they have a wish to do anything crazy. All right, we'll see. He wants to donate money to charity, go to a dive bar. You can donate money to charity. You have lots of money, buddy. Oh, look at how cute. It's going to be such a good painting. Okay, is Abigail here? Yes, she is. Okay. Okay, can we uh, call her over? Okay, so I gave Abigail a bit of a makeover so that she would look more 
period appropriate, and it would appear that they have not yet had their first kiss. So there is no, like, affair going on. They're, they're not sleeping together. They're not going to woohoo if they haven't even kissed yet. But the, but the relationship is there. Like, the game generated it. So I, I just don't know what to do. Because I don't want to ruin their marriage, but, like, the game generated this. Like, I didn't, I didn't do that. The game did that. So something autonomous is going on. Like, she must secretly want something that's not Peter. I don't, I just, I just don't know what to do. I think for now, I'll just have them, like, you know, hold hands and flirt and hug and stuff. And, like, we'll see where that goes, I guess. I don't, because I don't want to have them kiss or woohoo or anything because the game didn't have them do that. I don't want to do anything until you guys tell me what to do. I don't want to ruin a marriage. All right, so he is going to dispose of all of these leaf piles just to get them out of the way. Oh, Cassandra learned how to talk. Yay, she's all done. What a good girl. I'm so proud. Yeah. Okay, so she needs to be... Oh, she's she's in the yellow. She's not doing okay. I like it was ignoring everything else because I was like, oh my god, there are lesbian lovers upstairs. Okay, she needs to be fed and all of that. Oh, they're they're hugging and 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 they're on. Oh, they're on a date now. Yikes! 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 Look, see, look, they're, they're see, they're going for it. They're like doing it. They're. they're Ooh, they're gonna, we need, no, we need to ask her to end the date. She needs to end the date because this is not happening. Yep, okay, bye, bye. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, nope, we're not go, yeah. Oh, sorry, we didn't spend much time together. Yeah, no, because I'm not going on a date with you in my husband's bedroom. That's not happening. Oh, the servants really need to take care of themselves. Oh, I still didn't build them a house. They don't have anywhere to sleep. Ooh. Um, okay, well, we're gonna put Cassandra in the crib because she needs to go to sleep sleep. She's real tired and I think I'm gonna go build the servants a house because they need a place to take care of themselves <laughs> Okay, y'all so uh, I'm gonna cut this episode a little short uh, because I was having some trouble with uh, my game audio and then um, all of the footage for the rest of the video kind of got corrupted and nothing really happened I think Cassandra might have learned to talk or walk or something. I don't know. I recorded this episode a very long time ago and I'm only just now getting to editing it. So I'm not really sure what was cut out. If It might have just been Cassandra learning something. Nothing happened between uh, Abigail and Caroline. So um, I just they just ate dinner and went to bed, I think. Um, so I'm just going to cut it off here. It's a little shorter, but you know, you got the gist. Um, we pick up right where we left off um, in the next part, so you didn't miss anything. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think I should do about Caroline and Abigail. I have no idea what to do. And yeah, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys.